nature if it always takes two to tango in the wild, and you might be surprised by the answer. Life uh, finds a way. For some animals, mating is for suckers, especially when it's a life or death situation. Virgin birth. Sounds wholesome, but it's actually a catchier way of saying parthenogenesis. I don't know, I thought it was kind of catchy. It's a form of asexual reproduction where males can take the day off since the female's egg doesn't require sperm for an embryo to be formed. I don't need you. Can parthenogenesis occur both in the wild and in captivity? Why might it just be a short-term solution for a species survival? Does this mean we're surrounded not just by crazy creatures, but crazy clones? Alone or with a friend, sit back and enjoy our top five animals that can have virgin births. Starting off at number five, California condors. During the 1980s, California condors and their three meter wingspan were on the brink of extinction. With only 22 remaining, an aggressive breeding program was initiated. Two of the program's offspring were discovered to have no genetic material from males. Their mothers were survivalists, but this solo inbreeding came at a price. Both virgin birth chicks died before they were 10, an alarming statistic considering these birds can live to 60. Experts believe the limited single-parent gene pool led to genetic mutations that fueled fatal health conditions. Slithering into number four, pythons. Then there was Thelma a six meter long python weighing in at 91 kilograms from the Louisville Zoo. For most animals, parthenogenesis is a final resort due to the extremes of their habitat. Scientists think Thelma's rather spoiled lifestyle at the zoo, what with its heating pads, lots of space, and 24-hour buffet just for her, created such ideal breeding conditions, her body naturally reacted to them. Cue a virgin birth with six babies. Yes, the world's longest snake can make do without help from a breeding partner. I can do it by myself. But what about humans? Nah, sorry if we got your hopes up, but mammals don't possess the biological wiring needed to pull this off. Oh, the humanity. Swimming up to number three, sharks. Six species of sharks are capable of parthenogenesis, a result of humans really making life difficult for them in the wild due to climate change and overfishing impacting the availability of mates. Since they're also a popular public aquarium feature, sharks in captivity have also been documented producing offspring independently. This includes egg-laying carpet sharks and live-bearing smooth-hound sharks. When it happens in the shark world, there is one guarantee. They will always be female. Here we go. Unfortunately, their lifespan will be short because of that whole lack of genetic diversity thing. That's my curse. And my burden. It's a problem faced by any animal born as a result of parthenogenesis. There's nothing we could do about it. Flying into the number two slot, turkeys. Seriously, turkeys? Aren't there like billions of them? Why do they need to <clears throat> gobble gobble by themselves? Actually, there's only about 430 million worldwide but temperature changes and viral infections can lead to females bypassing any male interaction. That's actually not a bad idea. Sharks stick with female offspring, so turkeys balance things out with their virgin births only being male. Yay! But don't call these literal bird brains clones. Cloned animals come equipped with the exact same genetics as their parents. Because a partho parent is compensating for the lack of male chromosomes with their own, the kids get all her genes minus her genome fingerprint. And receiving the number one crown, Komodo dragons. Weighing as much as a panda bear, the Komodo dragon is Earth's largest lizard. They also only inhabit five Indonesian islands. A threatened species with a limited number of males on the dating scene, scientists have proposed that female Komodos develop the ability to reproduce minus a partner off and on out of necessity. In the case of first-time mother Charlie from Tennessee's Chattanooga Zoo, three hatchlings were born possessing only her genes, despite efforts to breed her with a captive male. 
I guess if you can double up your chromosomes, you can go about trying to stabilize your population numbers alone, thank you very much. There's a lot more to the deadliest lizard on the planet than asexual reproduction. Check out our other video on the Komodo dragon. Partnerless breeding combined with shallow gene pools will always keep experts guessing at what nature is capable of. It's also what makes these independently frisky animals crazy creatures.